Hey guys, it's me, Lily and Joelle, and we are on day number 28 of 31 days to taming your tongue, minding your mouth, watching your words, whatever we needed to be to get to our desired results. That's what we're doing. You know, I am really excited to share today's word with you. And today's scripture is for the ladies. Glory to God. So we're going to be reading from Proverbs chapter 31, verse 26. It's coming from the New Living Translation, and I've entitled it Virtuous. Here we go. It says, when she speaks, her words are wise, and she gives instructions with kindness. Glory to God. Now, this part of Proverbs is talking about the ideal wife and mother. Women, I believe that we have a huge obligation to our families. How many of us has actually always spoken wise words to our family? I can't raise my hand on that because I know it's not me. You can type it in the comments if you choose to, right? But guess what? We're all delivered in Jesus name. So let me ask you this. I've been asked this before, but I want to bring it to you. Would you rather be a, therm a thermometer or a thermostat? Think about it. You can answer now if you'd like, but I'm going to give you the definition of both and then you can make an informed answer. Okay. So here's the difference. A thermometer is like a mirror. It reflects the temperature of its environment. It's always influenced by what's going around, right? Whatever's going around in it, it's influenced by it. So when the temperature of a room is hot, guess what? The reading is high. And when the temperature drops, the reading then gets low, right? It drops too. Thermometers are in a constant state of change, meaning that they can go both up and down within minutes. That's the thermometer. Or would you rather be a thermostat? Now a thermostat is used to regulate its environment. It's used to maintain the desired temperature. They're programmed to keep our homes at a set temperature, right? So if the temperature drops below what has been set, then the heat's gonna kick in, right? And then if the temperature rises above what has been set, then the heat is gonna either go off or the air conditioner is gonna kick in just to get it right back to the temperature in which we've set. And the thermostat is constantly monitoring, monitoring excuse me, the environment. Whether the temperature gets too hot or too cold, the thermostat is going to correct the situation every single time. So now I ask you, what would you rather be? A thermometer or a thermostat? I know you know the right answer. We should always, always, always be a thermostat. Yes, as the thermostat, we should be assessing our environments. We should be led of Holy Spirit where we're assessing our homes, what's going on there, right? We should be careful with the words that we speak. We should always have a right word for every occasion. Glory to God. I believe that our tongues should be on lockdown, that they should always be used to say something sweet, something patient, something respectful, kind. That's how we should be. The scripture also says that we should be giving instructions with kindness. Think about the value you'd offer your family when you speak with wisdom, glory to God, and you give thoughtful counsel and instruction. Isn't that amazing, right? The Bible says that our children will call us blessed. It also says that we will be praised by our husbands. Mm, mm, mm. Ladies, we have the power, glory to God. And when we execute it with wisdom and understanding, with kindness and humanity, and then top it with humility, glory to God. Guess what? We win, glory to God. So the next time you find yourself having to address something with your spouse or your child, tell yourself, I am virtuous, glory to God. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for, your, for the word today. Glory to God. We decree and declare that our words are wise and we give instructions with kindness. Our husbands praise us and our children call us blessed. We are virtuous women in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Glory to God. 
So listen, if you've enjoyed day number 28 of 31 Days to Taming Your Tongue, be sure to give the video a thumbs up. Yes, yes, and yes. And again, if the content that I'm sharing for you has been good to you, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel. Not only do I want you to subscribe, I want you to share the channel with your family and friends because we already know what sharing is caring. Yes, indeedy. And if you want to know when I upload my videos, feel free to tap the notification bell, select all notifications, and then you will be notified when I upload my next video. So that's all I have for now, guys. I appreciate your support. I appreciate you being on my channel and you already know what we need to do. Tame that tongue. See ya.